Bitcoin trades above $30,000, Ether stays below $2,000. SEC formally accepts BlackRock's Spot Bitcoin ETF application. Cathy Woods Arc sells another $50.5 million Coinbase shares. Over 2,000 ETH scriptions nabbed in smart contract exploit. Aave Protocol launches stablecoin GHO on Ethereum mainnet $2 million minted. Welcome to 3 Auto TV. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets were trading lower in the beginning of the week on the back of profit taking witnessed in the overall crypto markets. Bitcoin hovered around $30,000 crucial levels. Vishakha Thakur joins us to tell us how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 0.5% at 40,000 points. In an interesting news, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume recently announced that it has successfully integrated the Lightning Network, the popular Layer 2 solution built on the Bitcoin network. According to reports, with the help of this integration, Binance users can use the Layer 2 scaling solution for Bitcoin withdrawals and deposits at a faster speed. Separately, the National Australian Bank has recently halted payments to cryptocurrency exchanges citing them as high-risk assets. Earlier, Westpac Commonwealth Bank of Australia also took such parallel actions due to risks associated within the cryptocurrency sector. According to data from TradingView, the total market cap of stablecoins has dropped nearly 25% from $160 billion to around $120 billion. However, Tether leads the stablecoin market with a 65% market share and $83.7 billion USDT in circulation. Going forward in the stablecoin sector, Aave Protocol has recently launched GHO stablecoin on the Ethereum mainnet. GHO is a decentralized and over-collateralized algorithmic stablecoin backed by Ethereum's native token Ether and Aave Protocol's native token Aave. Meanwhile, Far Tree Partners, a New York-based hedge fund, is launching a new fund focused on distressed crypto assets and attempt to cash in on the intense turmoil the industry has experienced in the past year or so. The Far Tree Digital Asset Opportunities Fund will launch August 1st, according to an email seen by Coindesk. Well, the hedge funds are hoping to cash in on distressed crypto assets by identifying opportunities that are mispriced, dislocated or complex. Elsewhere, the one-inch token, a utility and governance token of the one-inch protocol has surged to a three-month high of an increase of 67% in a week amid surge in South Korean trading volumes. Data from CoinGlass mentioned that the open interest volume for one-inch perpetual swap contracts reached 20-month high at around $72 million. Stock futures traded lower ahead of a busy week full of corporate earnings. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average were lower by 76 points, while S&P 500 futures dropped 0.1 percent and Nasdaq 100 futures were trading flat. Bitcoin was trading at $30,000 to $40, down 0.3 percent. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 0.7 percent, trading at $1,916. On my left, BNB was down by 3 percent to trade at $243. Next on the list is Solana Sol. It was down 2.3% and was trading at $27.3. Talking about Cardano's ADA token, it was down by 3% to trade at $0.31. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $14.2, lower 2%. Next on the list, Polygon Matic was trading down by 2.3% to trade at $0.77. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 2.2% at $0.069. Shiba Inu was trading down by 2.7%. Talking about Ripple's XRP token, traded at $0.74, down by 0.3%. Polkadot was up by 2% to trade at $5.3. Thank you, Vishaka, for your in-depth analysis of the global cryptocurrency market. And now back to the headlines. 
The United States Financial Markets Regulator, the Securities and Exchange Commission, has formally accepted the BlackRock's application for launching a spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund, ETF. The acceptance of BlackRock's application comes a day after similar application from the Bitwise. The SEC's official calendar currently shows that BlackRock's application will be published in the Federal Register and start a 21-day public comment period. An arrangement for surveillance sharing with cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase is included in BlackRock's ETF registration. The regulator revealed on Friday, July 14 that it is now considering applications for a number of funds including Wise Origin, Bitcoin Trust, Wisdom Tree, Vanek, and Invesco Galaxy. The competition between firms competing to introduce a Bitcoin ETF in the US is seen favorably for the cryptocurrency industry. A spot Bitcoin ETF is still awaiting approval from the SEC in the US, but it is already on the market in Canada. Cathy Wood's ARK investment sold another $50.5 million worth of Coinbase shares on July 14th to cash in on the recent rally in the cryptocurrency exchange stock. ARK sold over 480,000 coin shares across three different funds. The tech-focused investment manager owns over 10.5 million shares in Coinbase, making it one of the largest holders of the stock. Coinbase shares recently rose to a one-year high of $107 after the exchange announced surveillance sharing agreements with five spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund applicants, which may prove to be the breakthrough in the Securities and Exchange Commission finally approving such a fund to be listed in the US. ARK sold $12 million worth of coin shares on July 11th after the stock rallied to a then one-year high of around $89. Shares of Coinbase closed 1.58% lower at $105.31 on Friday. A new protocol that lets people create and share digital objects on Ethereum has hit a major setback, according to its creator, who said that Ethscription's main marketplace has been hacked. Launched last month by Tom Lehman, co-founder and former CEO of Genesis.com, Inscription is a novel way to create Ethereum assets that leverage transaction call data to write non-financial data to the network's blockchain. The Inscription's protocol itself and other applications that tap the technology haven't been inspected. Lehman said, yet a sizable number of Inscriptions listed on Inscription.com have been stolen, Lehman said on Twitter on Friday. About 123 individual addresses lost a total of about 202 inscriptions in this exploit, he said. Any young protocol will have bumpy landings, but this is definitely not what I meant. In terms of value, it's unclear exactly how much was lost in connection with the exploit, but according to data from NFT marketplace OpenSea, some inscriptions have sold for as much as 5 Ethereum or around $9,600 in the past month. Decentralized finance protocol Aave has launched its algorithmic United States dollar-pegged stablecoin GHO on the Ethereum mainnet with $2.19 million worth of GHO minted so far. Aave announced the launch of the new stablecoin in a July 16th blog post describing the new stablecoin GHO as a decentralized, over-collateralized asset. The stablecoin is backed by a multitude of digital assets including Ethereum's native currency Ether and Aave's native token Aave. The launch of GHO on Minute came after a community governance vote which saw nearly 100% of the 424 participating addresses vote in favour of the new stablecoin. Additionally, Aave said GHO's revenue would further bolster its DAO treasury with governance being entrusted to Aave and SDK Aave token holders. Now let's go to Shikha Singh to get an update of the buzzing stocks of the day. Former Director of Developer Relations at Ripple, Matt Hamilton, shared insightful perspectives and highlighted the key reasons for XRP's rally. Ripple had rallied near 90% up last week after SEC announced the cryptocurrency's partial victory. XRP is trading near 60% in the last 7 days and is trading 5% up $0.74 in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $39 billion. Matt emphasized that escrow contracts hold most XRP holdings, with Ripple selling a small fraction and reinvesting the rest into new contracts. Hamilton argued that Ripple's market influence is limited due to the global daily sales volume of around 4 billion tokens. He emphasized that market forces and Bitcoin's performance largely dictate XRP's price movements. 
Hamilton clarified that Ripple's ownership of XRP and XRPL is not under his control. He suggested that if necessary, Ripple's holdings in XRP could be burned. Hamilton reassured that concerns about Ripple's significant ownership should not be a concern for the future. He explained that the community can vote for an amendment that would effectively burn the company's holdings if they acted against the community's interests. Moving on, proof-of-stake blockchain Cardano has emerged as a prominent player on the crypto scene, attracting the attention of investors worldwide. Cardano was trading at $0.31 with a market capitalization of $11 billion. According to analysts, uh, recent market developments such as Ripple defeating the SEC in court and establishing XRP is not a security have resulted in an increase in Cardano trading volumes, prompting many to ask if now is the right time to invest in this digital asset. Furthermore, some observers stated that the recent rise in trade volumes is a persuasive evidence of Cardano's growing popularity. Cardano's trading volume has increased dramatically, showing the increased interest and activity in the digital asset. An increase in trading volumes frequently indicates increased demand for ADA and indicates that investors are actively entering and abandoning positions in the market. Moving on, peer-to-peer -peer decentralized network Stellar's native token XLM has experienced a similar meteoric rise to the XRP token in the last 24 hours. The rise was triggered by a news that Ripple, the company behind XRP, had won its long-running case against the US Securities and Exchange Commission. XLM is trading at $0.10, up near 3%, with a market capitalization of $3 billion. Stella's price has since stabilized, with the token currently trading at 52.4% gain in the last week. As a result, the price of XLM has risen to become one of the top daily gainers in the cryptocurrency market today. With a market cap of about $4 billion, the Stella coin is closing in on a slot in the top 20 largest cryptocurrencies, according to CoinGecko data. Moving on. Ethereum Layer 2 token Arbitrum experienced a significant surge on new network development. Based on a recent announcement, the network has integrated a protocol facilitating token transfers across different blockchain networks. Arbitrum was trading at $1.32, up near 5.5% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Arbitrum has integrated with the HOP protocol for bridging, enabling seamless transfers of Ethereum and MAGIC tokens between Arbitrum chains. This integration offers lower transaction costs and increased security, enabling new use cases and possibilities. HOP protocol enables quick and secure token transfers across rollups and the Layer 1 network with Arbitrum NOAA. This integration offers ARB token holders fast and secure transfers, expanding their possibilities within the layer, Ethereum Layer 2 ecosystem. The integration also enhances transaction security, ensuring trust and reliability. This is crucial for ARB holders as it safeguards assets during token transfers and provides peace of mind. The Treasure DAO community, known for its vibrant ecosystem, also benefits from the integration. Last on the list, we have Filecoin. Filecoin is a decentralized data service platform based on the interplanetary file system. Its native cryptocurrency FIL serves as a critical link for users and applications to access data-related services. Filecoin was trading at $4.42, up near 1%, with a market capitalization of $1 billion. The intrinsic value of FIL is determined by mechanisms like burning and blocking network transaction fees. The issuance rate of new FIL token depends on the network's storage capacity with block rewards given accordingly. Filecoin's storage capacity fluctuates between 5.05 and 6.14 PIB, indicating its overall stability despite challenges. Filecoin's active transactions have increased significantly with storage agreements and recovery agreements facilitating miners' and clients' interactions. This has led to a 33.2% and 34.2% increase in fees and revenue. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. For more on such updates and market news, please log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code.